good afternoon jai hind to all my dear dear children i think you are enjoying me in your online classes and i'll be taking up your english subject i'm tulika patak today's chapter will be the part 2 of the 100 dresses the part 1 we did in our last class isn't it children did you go through the chapter after explanation always i ask you to go through the chapter not only once but twice thrice four times then only you will be able to solve the exercises the extract based questions the mcqs right children if you haven't please today only you after my class please go through the first part four times and then if you are having any mistakes please don't hesitate to get it cleared because now we don't have the classrooms to meet each other we will be meeting each other through the conversations in the chat box right children for your online online classes we will be meeting you in the we e- meeting each other in the chat box so any confusion you have for any little thing don't hesitate to ask me because you ha- if you have a problem and you are proceeding ahead then you will never be able to solve it so if one chapter you have started devote time all your patience learn it and then move to the other chapter right so today i'll be doing the 100 dresses part 2 now 100 dresses part 1 i'll just recapitulate the story quickly the main points right so wanda was a small polish girl she used to go to an american school with other students she was different from the other students she never used to laugh loudly or talk or be naughty in the class always she used to sit at the corner of the class at the and used to capture the last benches she wanted always to be aloof from the other children the other students used to tease her used to comment on her but she never retaliated she used to wear a blue pale blue dress every day but when she was once disturbed by the teasing constant teasing bullying of her classmates she said that she had 100 dresses in the closet at her home and then teasingly her classmates asked him then wanda how many pair of shoes you have they she said 60 children again started commenting on her teasing her one day there was a competition and the girls were asked to sketch draw the different designs of dresses and surprisingly children it was wanda who backed the prize she drew the 100 dresses and it matched to all the colors which she used to say to her friends 
right but when the day was declared afterwards wanda shifted a wanda did not come to the school for many days when her classmates inquired they found that wanda had shifted to a big city and where she would not she would never face such bullies in the classrooms all right this is what we learned in the first part of the story now we would go to the second part we'll move to the second part and for that what i'm going to do i'll be sharing the ppt those who are using the tool mobile for your studies please to transfer the screen to the landscape mode or you maximize the screen right so 100 dresses part 2 by l basar esther first we'll start just discussing a few things about the author L Basar as Epstar was born in 9th May 1906 West in West Haven Connecticut United States She died in 15th July 1988 in Hamden Connecticut United States The awards which she was decked up with is Johnny Newberry Medal Education, Pratt Institute, School of Information, West Haven School, Haven School, Pratt Institute. Now the objectives. To promote, what are the objectives of writing this or uh, having this text in our syllabus? Okay, we have definite objectives. intentions for each and every text to include in the syllabus right children now let us see what are the objectives to promote language skills that is listening speaking writing and reading reading skills uh, we are not practicing nowadays because it is ma'am who is reading i don't know how much you are reading back at your home always i am telling you to read twice thrice four times five times and i'll read aloud so that the words enters your ears to develop healthy feelings towards their fellow friends regardless of their socio eco status now as i told that ages back there was lots of discrimination not among not only among the grown ups but the children they were also discriminated uh, by different issues so to develop a healthy feeling which i know you people are in already you are you are having a very positive attitude to deal with each other i've seen it those small bullies or those small fights it's very usual if it is not there then also you it would be very boring you know those are very usual to develop healthy feelings towards their fellow friends regardless of their socio eco status status to make them understand how to identify quality or talent of an individual to discourage forming biased opinions about someone on the basis of external appearances to develop respect towards their classmates to discourage them from passing derogatory comments about their friends very derogatory means very bad hmm to enrich their vocabulary with new words and phrases to make them familiar with 
the content and message of the story the hundred dresses what is the moral of the story the hundred dresses now as i tell you that the moral part the message part is very important in each and every chapter or the poetry poetry is which you are doing in our english class because english literature helps you to groom your self to develop a beautiful quality in yourself right children the story teaches us that we should never make fun of the unique differences of our fellow human beings you are not doing but if you are doing never to do it again we should try to accept them as they are and be cooperative with them the theme of the story the hundred dresses this is the theme of the story the hundred dresses was the book written by eleanor esther back in 1994 Did Wanda have a hundred dress? This question might be arising in you people, isn't it? No, Wanda did not have a hundred dress. Says she said that she had hundred dresses when she was ridiculed by her classmates on wearing. one faded dress every day she used to wear one blue faded dress every day in the school and for this she was teased by her friend when she was teased she got perturbed and she came out with this lie that she was having 100 dresses she did so to protect herself from being insulted Why did Wanda claim hundred dresses? The story, the hundred dresses. It is really all about teasing of Wanda, being Polish, and having a strange name. They made fun of Wanda and made her feel inferior by asking her about her dresses. Their behavior towards Wanda was completely. and desirable as it shows racism and ragging is that clear why did madi feel guilty she also thought about the 100 glowing pictures now glowing pictures means in the competition uh vanda drew the 100 dresses with 100 different colors all right so she also thought about the 100 pictures which were lined up in the classroom she was feeling guilty for not having said anything when everybody else was teasing vanda it was her guilt that made her think very hard and arrive at the important decision maddy and peggy had written a letter to wanda now comes the summary this questions it uh, it might be it was arising in your mind isn't it so i wrote this questions The lesson begins with a letter received from Wanda's father informing the school about their moving to a big city where nobody would tease Wanda for her funny name as well as her appearance. After getting familiar with the content of the letter through the teacher the whole class got stunned and realized 
that derogatory remark and attitude towards wanda mandy felt so bad that she couldn't concentrate on her studies after knowing the facts she wanted to meet wanda in person to clarify her stand that she never meant to hurt her feelings when the school was over maddy and peggy both went to the residence of wanda of boggins high to meet her but by that time they had already left so their visit was fruitless then they wrote a friendly letter to wanda telling her she had won the contest but the letter was not responded by wanda on the christmas miss mason their teacher received a letter from wanda informing that she was no more in need of those hundred dresses as she had new hundred dresses in her new house they accepted and pinned them in their bedrooms their maddy gazed for a long time at the picture and found that the face in the drawing was resembling to their own then she ran to peggy's house to see her drawing also peggy was also happy to find some in the drawing peggy peggy consoled herself saying that wanda really liked them maddy agreed and blinked away the tears which came every time she thought of wanda petronoski now we will go for the detail summary what do we do in the detail summary children we i i just go i'll just frame the summary according to the incidents which has which is mentioned in the textbook right part 1 miss mason received a letter from wander's father she read it for the class wander's father had informed miss mason that wanda would not come to the school any more they were moving to a big city where nobody would ask wanda about her funny name the entire class got tensed and they felt bad about wanda Maddy could not concentrate on her studies. She had a sick feeling. She felt that she was covered and never stopped Peggy for making fun of Wanda Petronoski. She wanted to meet Wanda children and say that she had not meant to hurt her feelings. she made up her mind to go to her house and tell wanda that she had won the contest and her hundred dresses were very beautiful when school was dismissed peggy and maddy went to boggins heights on the way peggy said that she never called wanda a foreigner or made fun of her name she never thought that wanda had the sense to know they were making fun of her peggy thought that wanda was too dumb maddy said nothing she just wanted to meet wanda and tell her that they were sorry for their rude treatment she wanted to request her not to move away both the girls found her house but could not meet wanda as her family 
had already left the place. The part three, they came back. Peggy tried to defend her behavior by saying that if she had not asked Wanda about her dresses, she would not have got the ideas for her drawings. But Maddie was not satisfied. She could not sleep that night. Now Maddie decided that she would not keep quiet in some teased, if someone teased anybody about their funny names. Even if it meant losing Peggy's friendship, she had no way of making things right with Wanda. But now she would never make anybody else that unhappy again. Now we are to the fourth part of the summary. On Saturday, both Peggy and Maddie wrote a friendly letter to Wanda telling her that she had won the contest. They signed it with lots of love and mail to Bogin's Heights. Days together passed but there was no answer from Wanda. Peggy had begun to forget the whole business and Maddie put herself to sleep at the night making speeches about Wanda. It was Christmas, children, when Miss Mason received a letter from Wanda. Wanda had written that the girl could keep those hundred dresses because in her new house she had hundred new ones. She had gifted special drawings to Peggy and Maddie. They accepted the drawings and pinned them in their bedroom. The part five, Maddie was missing her too much. Whom? Wanda. Tears blurred her eyes. She gazed for a long, long time at the pictures. She found that the face in the drawing looked like her. She was excited to see that Wanda had made that drawing specially for her. She ran to Peggy's house and saw her drawing too. Peggy was also happy to see that the face and the head of the drawing looked like her. Peggy, Peggy consoled herself by saying that Wanda really liked them. Maddie agreed and blinked away the tears that came every time she thought of Wanda Petronowski. Now, we have finished the summary. I think you have understood. Now, after you have got it explained, please go through the readings of the chapters, not only one time, but several times. And please make a habit of reading aloud so the words enter your ears. Thoughtfully, with consideration. Please, children, are you learning the new words? Thoughtful. Now, next time, we will have the test and we will have it on the new words. Thoughtfully, with consideration. I have framed a sentence also to define you the usage. He stared thoughtfully out the window, shuffling, rubbing and dragging. From his shuffling, I assumed he was very old, deliberately, intentionally. He used that word deliberately. Holler, holler, H-O-L-L-E-R. Holler, cry loudly. He hollered loud, loud, hollered out to surrender our op weapons. Transparent, quite clear. Transparent crystal. So children, 
with this we finish this chapter and we are we have completed this week's whatever module we had planned we have finished it i have finished my work what you people have done that is a question mark because i'm not sure about it are you compiling your notebooks please do compile the notebooks five marks you are having for the notebooks and for the very reason always in every class of mine i tell you how to maintain your notebooks right children and i also tell you what to write homework assignment your class work assignment you have to maintain your copies in such way and don't put it for one day tomorrow i'll do it please don't do it compile it today itself today's work should be completed today don't leave it for tomorrow because hmm tomorrow never comes right with this note i'll end up my class today have a nice day enjoy your day enjoy your studies don't trouble anybody be good as you're always